Hey ladies and gentlemen, Chris of the Polish Geek and welcome to my discussion about five favorite Castlevania video games. I decided to do this video for you as a preparation for Castlevania Nocturne. I'm really looking forward to Castlevania Nocturne. Castlevania has come a very long way. It initially started as just a horror side-scroller and with a guy with a whip fighting various horror, horror monsters like but then it evolved into a dark fantasy about the Belmont clan and their fight against Dracula. Dracula gets resurrected every hundred years and a different member of a Belmont clan has to defeat him. But the games can also be remembered for their immersive, awesome, creepy atmosphere, <laughs> epic epic music and soundtrack, one of the best music soundtracks in video game history and in general one of the best soundtracks ever, magnificent boss battles and overall very fun and challenging gameplay. I love Netflix Castlevania 2. I made a whole video on it. I think it's my favorite Netflix show by far and my favorite video game adaptation and I know there are some video game purists out there who very much hate the show and complain how it's unfair to the games but I don't care what they say. I love Netflix Castlevania and I actually think many of the changes worked very much in the show's favor because a story of just Bel different Belmont fighting Dracula every hundred years that would quickly get boring. That works wonderfully for a video game but I don't think it works quite well for a TV show that should be more story and character driven. So I very much love Netflix Castlevania and the video games I kind of view them as Zelda games where because the lore is kind of so complicated and with all the timeline and all it can get so complicated and mess with your head sometimes that I just came to kind of view each Castlevania game as its own standalone adventure especially that many of them are more about gameplay than story anyway and here I'm talking about my five very favorite Castlevania video games. Yes, this video will cover my five absolute favorite Castlevania games. There are a lot more Castlevania games that I really love, but this video will cover my absolute favorites. But because of the quantity of awesome Castlevania games, let's actually give a shout out to a few honorable mentions. And the honorable mentions are Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse, the very original very first Castlevania, Portrait of Ruin, and even first Lords of Shadow. The second Lords of Shadow had some good parts, but I honestly think there are many ways could have been improved. But first Lords of Shadow is awesome, even though it's an entirely new continuity. But here are my honorable mentions. Now let's get to actual five absolute best Castlevania video games and by the way each of those five I consider all those five games some of the best video games ever made all five of those are literally some of my favorite video games ever number five and that's Castlevania Bloodlines or more specifically in Europe it was always known as Castlevania and New Generation but whatever, Castlevania Bloodlines, Castlevania New Generation, whatever, it's certainly number five. Because this game is fabulous. Instead of the Belmonts, because according to this game's story, the Belmonts were missing. So instead of the Belmonts, you get two new characters, John Morris or El Eric Lacarde. And the fun thing about J John Morris is that he's apparently, reportedly, supposed to be technically a son of Quincy Morris from the original Bram Stoker novel Dracula. Which is pretty cool. It's a very cool reference to where Dracula originated from. <laughs> it's full cool sometimes to acknowledge and source material. Very nice easter egg. And also another thing I love about this game is instead of being confined to Transylvania, this game instead takes place all over Europe in various different European countries. And I love how each stage has a music that very nicely matches the setting. Like after Transylvania there is Greece, Italy, Germany, France and finally England. And yeah, 
I love it a lot. And the soundtrack in this game is pretty awesome in general, especially how I just said how every stage has different music that very nicely matches its setting. And I also love in this game the, the story. I mean, there is not much story to this game, it's mostly gameplay, but there is a story in supplementary material, and I really like the inclusion of Elizabeth Bathory in this game, actually. I still remember how I first played this game at my boarding school, because this game was originally a Sega Genesis game, but I remember how at my boarding school my friend had this game emulated, and we played it together, and I had so much fun playing with it, and I'm really happy now, it's part of the classic Castlevania collection on the PlayStation, which means I can play it whenever I want now, if I, if I have time, of course, but Castlevania Bloodlines, or Castlevania a New Generation, whatever, Castlevania Bloodlines, fantastic game, and number five on this list. Number four, Aria of Sorrow, and the unique thing about Aria of Sorrow is that in contrast to most Castlevania games which take place in the past, Aria of Sorrow takes place in the future and it has a new protagonist, Soma Cruz, whose backstory is very interesting and he in general is a very cool and interesting character. In this game you can also get three different endings depending on the choices you make, like as, and a twist in the best and hidden ending is very cool and unexpected but really interesting. And also, I love how it also introduced a new concept of stealing enemy souls and later using them and trying to figure out what those souls might do. Especially that, depending on the souls, they can actually get help you get the best ending in the game. And trying to figure out which soul to use and what they can do is really challenging, but wicked fun. The music in this game is also entirely new, but it's great. Then again, great music is something that applies to all of Castlevania games. But it also shows how different games have different music and yet it always feels very much like Castlevania music. It always feels completely at home, even if it's a music that hasn't been used before. But Ori of Sorrow is an amazing Castlevania game and it's magnificent. I love Aria of Sorrow. Number 3, Rondo of Blood, and this is a game that hasn't been released in the West for a long time, until much later it was released on the PSP. Instead, Western gamers were stuck with an inferior port called Dracula X, and while the game wasn't necessarily bad, when you compare it to this masterpiece Rondo of Blood, it's no wonder that people hated this Dracula X game so much, because Rondo of Blood is a much better game in every way. You play here as Richter Belmont. Richter has always been my favorite Belmont in the series, although after the Netflix Castlevania show, Trevor now really started giving him competition, but with Castlevania Nocturne having Richter as a protagonist, we'll see how they do Richter, and I really hope they do him justice. But playing as Richter, my favorite Belmont is awesome, and also the game gives you various alternate paths and you also have to rescue various women who are imprisoned by Dracula or more specifically by an evil priest Shaft who wants to resurrect Dracula and looking for them and rescuing them is all lots of fun but also another thing I love is that it gives you an extra player playable character and this is Maria Renard She's like the very first woman, or more specifically a girl, because she's only a child, but she's like the very first girl that Richter saves, and she soon becomes another playable character, and she is a little bit overpowered with her magic, so that's why I prefer to just play as Richter, because with her magic, Maria Renard is a little too overpowered, and the game becomes too easy as a result, but it's awesome to have a choice to play as a different character. <laughs> The soundtrack here is just epic, and even by Castlevania standards, it's still one of the best soundtracks in video games. This is possibly actually my favorite soundtrack in Castlevania history, this game has. Although the following two games of the list also have really awesome soundtrack. Whoa! 
<laughs> number two, and this has been number one for a long time, we'll get it later, but number two, and what Castlevania, what best Castlevania list would be complete without Super Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. Because this game is magnificent, like, it took everything amazing about the uh, original Castlevania on an NES and then up and using the Super Nintendo abilities it took everything to the whole new level. The art and design here is simply amazing and it has aged so well. The gameplay is very fun but also very challenging yet completely fair and beatable and the boss battles are magnificent, some of the best boss battles in Castlevania history and video game history in general and the music and soundtrack here is simply excellent and it also has my by far my favorite version of Bloody Tears ever. The level design is very immersive and the atmosphere is just outright scary and creepy and the Dracula's castle is so immersive. Gameplay is also wicked fun and it's awesome how you can use your whip now in any direction you want now. I, I often now tend to go upstairs and into the attic and play my Super Super Castlevania 4 on Super Nintendo. At this point, I can beat like the game in three hours only. This is perfect example of practice makes perfect. For a long time, this game was actually number one on this list, and I would often try to go against the majority opinion and say that I disagree. I think Super Castlevania 4 is the best in the series for the longest time, but ultimately, can't do anything. My number one on the list, which I think people probably can easily figure out which game is number one, but the number one game on the list for some reason held me under its spell and it did ultimately grow me and won me over. So yes, for the longest time Super Castlevania 4 was number one on this list, but ultimately I couldn't do anything, I ultimately had to agree with the majority of which game truly is the best Castlevania game. So. So my number one favorite Castlevania game is ultimately Symphony of the Night. Yeah, cliche choice and partially why for the longest time I was insisting Super Castlevania 4 was my favorite but after a couple replays of Symphony of the Night I had to go with the popular majority opinion and I have to agree Symphony of the Night is ultimately the best Castlevania games ever and probably and it's certainly like in my top 5 favorite video games of all time maybe top 7 but yeah it's certainly like in the top 10 favorite video games of all time because yeah as I said it's a cliche popular choice to pick Symphony of the Night but then again this it's a common choice for a reason because Symphony of the Night truly deserves a title of the best Castlevania game ever it completely reinvented the Castlevania format from like a 2D side scroller to a Metroid style, style format, which hence invented the term Metroidvania. It also added some RPG elements, and mm, the playable character here is Alucard, who is by far my favorite character in. Castlevania history. After you beat the game, you can actually do a Richter Belmont mode in a classic Castlevania fashion. The art and character sprites here are so awesome and they look better than ever. And I love the attention to detail on everything, on all the characters and backgrounds here. The various castle areas are so immersive, like there is a library, the alchemy laboratory, a catacombs, you name it. and. I also really love the music in this game. Then again, I probably said it for every Castlevania game by now, but it further proves how Castlevania soundtrack is one of the best video game soundtracks in history. One of my favorite things also about this game is how it teases you in the beginning. It gives you a very powerful auto card with all your best abilities, only for death to take everything away from you, and then you slowly and slowly have to build 
and you have to slowly build all your abilities that you've started with and this is awesome just start a game with all your best abilities only to quickly to take them all it's really awesome I just I love it it's kind of teasing you but I love it and then another thing about the game is once you beat once you seemingly beat the game you then realize you have a whole inverted castle which is just excellent I love the inverted castle and it's really awesome you can technically like beat the game even before starting the inverted castle but who'd wanna miss out on an inverted castle Super Castlevania 4 I can beat in like 3 hours this game I generally need like few days but those few days are always worth it I play Castlevania Symphony of the Night like at least once a year because I always have to experience the joy every I mean every year I feel like I have to experience a joy of playing this masterpiece because I just love Castlevania Symphony of the Night so much so yes once every year at least I have to beat this masterpiece that said there is a lot more to say about Symphony of the Night, but to truly give you an idea of how really magnificent this game is, I will have to review the game on its own someday, and I will absolutely do that. Only that you'll truly get an idea of what a magnificent masterpiece Symphony of the Night is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here are my five absolute favorite Castlevania video games. This franchise is simply excellent. It's by far one of the best video game franchises in video game history. I love Castlevania franchise so much. And I love the Netflix series too, regardless of what the haters and video game purists who think they know best say. Because I love the video games and I love the Netflix series and I'm really looking forward to see what Castlevania Nocturne brings us. Fingers crossed this show is excellent. But, here are my ultimate 5 absolute favorite Castlevania video games and I think those are actually some of the best video games of all time but, ultimately, you know, what's my favorite? Do you agree with my picks? What are your favorite Castlevania video games? Let me know, please press the like button, please subscribe to this channel and I'll talk to you soon in another video Talk to you later, bye!